Hello everyone, today we are testing some TikTok viral products. Let's go. This is a Refi primer, or a primer from Refi, I should say. It has this roller on it, and I was a little bit skeptical first using it. I was like, oh, this is kind of gimmicky, but oh my god, using this was so enjoyable. I didn't want to stop using it. That was the first thing. Really easy to use, but I have to say, when I took my makeup off later that day, this has so many skincare benefits to it. My skin genuinely looked plumped, and I'm looking at my skin now and thinking, what the hell happened? L'Oreal Paris True Match Serum. I know why this went viral. This foundation is beautiful. It is like painting my face with my own skin. So nice, lightweight, really good on my oily skin as well. We're going to go over Mitchell color cases. You can see I've kind of like dug up these and we're using these, this mixing medium they sell with it as well. I've kind of dug up them before and mixed them in with stuff, but I've never really full on used them properly. So we're trying today. I'm going to do like, I didn't know what I was doing to be fair. I was going to do like a brown smoky eye and I saw all the greens. Um, and it's really easy to blend. The mixing medium, it takes a little bit of time to get used to. You can see I put a little bit too much in there. So the, I was about to say proportions. Um, you know what I mean? Like how much to mix with what? Usually I would scoop a little bit out, but I didn't have time that day. I just went to get on. So I dropped it right into the actual palette itself. But it kind of has this... I want to say like waterproofness to it. it. It does take some time to get used to... Some go was really to get used to like how much to use and you'll see in a minute. However, it did blend really, really beautifully and it kind of goes on like a paint and you can use it like dry without the mixing medium to blend out and wet as well. It was actually really, really good um, with that mixing medium and blend, blend, how's that say blend, blended so beautifully and the, the pigmentation really, really was, was very strong. Um, it was like paint. It was good. It was like paint. Did under the eyes as well. It did crease slightly throughout and you'll see. But I found with this mixing medium, I also got a bit more blending time. You'll see here, I go, go in and it's too watery to a point where I have to blot it with a tissue. I was like, right, sort this out, figure this out. So <laughs> I'm going to have to just start fresh, start again. And then I, I still, I, I still didn't get the proportions right, really. Um... But when, when, you know, it's manageable, it's manageable. It is really nice. Once you get it, it's worth it because the, the payoff of a product is stunning and it sits really well. It blends, you, you think you don't have that much um, playtime because it does dry quite quickly, um, but not quickly enough that it doesn't blend. It's, it's very unique in terms of formula. I, I did this uneven, I can see that now. That's a different shape to the other eye. Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> um... Yeah, like, as I said, really smooth. And to a point where you can see I'm just tapping to blend it out. It really is quite movable and malleable. Um, yeah, I went in with this more, I was using like a lighter green, you can see on the right hand side. I went in with this deeper green on the left to add just a little bit of something to the inside corner. And I thought, let me just whack it on and then try and tap blend it out and see if it, it works. And it did. It just really blended again. I, I don't know how many times I can say it, it blended, blended beautifully. But it really did. It, it was so smooth and easy to use. I think products like this can be quite intimidating for people because it gives like a pro kind of um, image. You know what I mean? And it really isn't that. It isn't really that intense. I went in with a black just dry without the mixing medium. And actually, the color payoff was, it was okay. But I think I was being really shy. So on the other eye, I was like, let's just go for it. Let's just really whack it on and that was that was much better just to put like a load on and then blend it out and uh, blend it into how i needed it to blend rather than being shy with a black like i would with a powder um you can see here like i need more i need a lot more so i did <laughs> put on a lot more <laughs> and it was just so much easier to manage that way as well um and, and again easy to blend and it wasn't messy no fallout of course because it's paint it's cream it's gripping right onto the skin initially it did feel um i guess sticky on the lid sometimes so this is the multitask concealer i used this a while back but this has started to become like pretty viral on tiktok for some reason i think it's like duping um what's that one tart shape tape is that it People are saying it's a, a dupe for something. And I forget how thick this is. It's very, very pigmented. It's very strong. So I did use a little bit too much. So I really did tap it into place. But 
it has coverage. It's not completely dry. It's not completely matte, but then it's not shiny either. It, it has like this really nice, I guess like skin matte finish to it where it looks like real on the skin, but it is very, very heavy. It has quite a big wand on the end. I think that's something I would change. The applicator is huge and holds a lot of product. And this isn't even one dip. This is like half of one dip. So it doesn't need that much product. You know what I mean? Because it makes you use a lot and you really don't need that much. So maybe I would make it smaller. I think there's like a, a dip a well in the applicator as well, which holds more product. So I would just get rid of that. I'm going in with this um, sponge. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Um, to just to tap that into place because I didn't want to blend it into my face anymore because it's quite light. I was going to like pale myself out. So I was like, let me just tap it into place. Go over with my foundation brush that still has some of my foundation on it and just buff it and blend it properly into the skin so it, it doesn't have like a seam, like a stop and start to it, you know, like it does inside of my nose there. Am I going to get that? Do I get that on the side of my nose? I do. Okay, fine. <laughs> and I thought, you know what? I can blend this in. Another Mitchell product. This is the Blush. People use this all the time and hype it up so, so much. I have to see what all the fuss is about. It is really nice in terms of texture. The pigment is stunning. Um, and it blends like seamlessly into the foundation. I think it's a, a good combination I found there with a foundation and this blush. I think it's something I would use quite often. Is it like crazy like people like going crazy for it i i'm not um sure why not in a way that is terrible because it's a really good blush but i think it's quite hyped up maybe because people try to sell it on tiktok shop they make they kind of overdo it a little bit it's a beautiful cream blush but i've you know used stuff not similar but that's just as good it gives just as, as good pigment but it's a really good price actually for the mitchell stuff queen cosmetics always going like viral on TikTok because they have these incredible lip products that just have so much intense glitter or shimmer. These are the plumping ones. Um, and there was a few different shades. Of course, I chose the purple one. Now, I didn't really feel anything. And you'll see later, it starts to get a little bit spicy. We're going in with the Huda, Huda I can always say Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. Now, I used this before, but I didn't, I've never used a pink powder before, and this is a pink one. So we're going to use that. And it, again, looked really natural on the skin. I'm really surprised with this powder. It, it like, constantly, I keep thinking, like, why does it look so natural on the skin? It has, like, a powder with a glow to it, almost, and it just sits really effortlessly, effortlessly. On the skin, I am buffing everything in together again, so I have no like stops and starts. Going in a bit of a uh, little blah, 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 blah. going in with a bit of um, what is that mascara? There you go. Uh, I need to clean that mirror, and I just had to go in and just tap out some of the creases on here. I didn't use a base or anything like that. I didn't really think I would need to with this the Mitchell the, these paints. Um, but it didn't crease again, so that was good. Eye Law Lashes, these aren't going viral. I just really like them. <laughs> and that's it. The lip thing did plump quite well and got quite tingly and nice, but not in a horrible, uncomfortable way. Um, if I, my lips did feel a little bit numb after having it on for a while, but it was a good plump without being spicy. And that's it. Those, those are those viral TikTok products. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.